treatment options for massive irreparable rotator cuff tears. A brief summary. Definition. What I cannot repair. Fatty infiltration grade 3. Fatty infiltration is the most important parameter. Retraction patter 3. Pseudoparalytic shoulder. Acromia humeral distance lower than 6 mm. Arthritis, cuff arthropathy. Muscle atrophy, weakness. Massive is not mean irreparable. Irreparable is not mean massive. Treatment options. Conservative. Physical treatment, cortisone injections. Surgical. Debridement and long head of bicep stenotomy. Tuberoplasty. Superior capsular reconstruction. Tendon transverse, lattice humus storsi transfer and lower trapezius transfer. Biodegradable spacer. Scaffolds. Arthrodesis. Reverse prosthesis. Understand the problem before defining the problem. We treat the patient, we do not treat MRI. Evaluate the pain, strength, and function. Debridement and long head bicep stenotomy. Good results for pain reduction. Fast rehabilitation. Best candidates, low demand elderly patients. Chronic pseudoparalytic PTS are not the best candidates. This procedure is not preventing arthritis progression. Superior capsular reconstruction. Superior capsule is just inferior the RC tendos and constituates the 30% of the footprint it contributes the joint stability. Patients of massive rotator cuff tear have substantial instability in glenohumeral joint. Reduce superior migration. Lower the center of rotation. Posterior belts to balance the joint. Superior capsular reconstruction. Requires repair of anterior and posterior cuff. Subscapularis must be inserted. Mihatu et al. Arthroscopy, 24 cases, fascia lata, tripled to sized, 1. Year follow-up good clinical and radiologic outcomes. Latissimus dorsi transfer. Gerber, clinical orthopedics, and related research, 1992. 13 sixteenths good to excellent result. Needs intact subscapularis. Gerber, JBJs, 2006. Poor subscapularis equals poor results. Gerber, Gzis, 2007. 22 patients. Grade 2 or less fatty infiltration of teres minor had significantly better constant score, active external rotation and active elevation. Latissimus dorsi transfer. Better results with intact subscapularis and external rotation pseudoparalysis. Poor results in elevation pseudoparalysis, active elevation less than 90 degree, and teres minor fatty infiltration. Poor shoulder function and generalized muscle weakness prior to surgery have a greater likelihood of having a poor clinical results. Ian Notti, 2006, JBJs. Conclusion. Lattice humus storsi does not restore the motion in the case of pseudoparalytic shoulder. Be aware that the quality of teres minor is important and may affect the final result. Lower trapezius transfer. The surgeon can achieve better external rotation. Biomechanically more suitable than lattice humus dorsi. Biodegradable spacer. The implant of a biodegradable tool, balloon spacer, between the acromion and humeral head, aiming. Friction reduction between humeral head and acromion. Attempt to improve biomechanics lowering humeral head during the abduction. Restoring the efficacy of anterior and posterior forces of the remaining rotator cuff. Future treatments. Biologic patch. Biomimetic. Nanofibers, electrospun nanofibers. Conclusions. Not a unique condition, even difficult to define. Understand the patient's problem. Choose the most fitting among the many treatment options. Poor slash fair results especially in high demand patients and early arthropathy signs, Hamada 2. Don't ignore the cost effectiveness reverse total shoulder arthroplasty is the most expensive regarding cost effectiveness.